as you all probably know, Apple has released their iPhone 11, and with this release, they have two different types of iPhone 11. They have the iPhone 11 and the iPhone 11 Pro. Um, today, I'm just going to compare and contrast the differences between the iPhone 11 and the iPhone 11 Pro. So let's uh, go ahead and get started on this. First, with the iPhone 11, uh, it comes with a variety of colors, more than the iPhone 11 Pro. And I'm just going to go over it with you really quick. It has the purple, the yellow, the green, the black, white, and the product red. Um, with the iPhone 11 Pro, there's only four colors to choose from. You have the midnight green, the silver, the space gray, and the gold. All right. Let's scroll down to look at some more areas where these cameras contrast. Uh, the camera, one of the big features, as you can see, the iPhone 11 has two cameras, two lenses on the back, and the Pro has three. Uh, the iPhone 11, ultra-wide and a wide, those are the difference, the ultra-wide and the wide. It says the dual camera system in the iPhone 11 shoots everything from 4K video to beautiful portraits. Use the ultra-wide camera to zoom out for sweeping landscapes or vast interiors and for the iPhone 11 Pro and the ultra wide the wide and the telephoto it says the triple camera system in the iPhone 11 Pro adds a telephoto lens for pro level portraits and the ability to zoom in on distant objects like wildlife and sporting events so that's the difference between the camera. And I can tell you from my experience with the iPhone um, iPhone and a professional camera is that these lenses do offer a lot of capability, but they're not quite the exact same as a professional. So when you're reading this, keep that in mind. Now let's go on to the battery between the two. Now this has been an issue with phone makers since the inception of smartphones. Battery life has always limited the phone. All right, So let's go ahead and look at this. Right here, the battery for the iPhone 11. It lasts up to 17 hours of video playback. The iPhone 11 gives you impressive all day battery life and fast charge capable. The adapter is sold separately. The fast charge adapter is sold separately for the iPhone 11. And for the iPhone 11 Pro, up to 18 hours of video playback. The iPhone Pro represents a major leap forward setting a new bar for all day battery life. Fast charge adapter is included unlike with the regular iPhone 11. Now, there's an icon. There's a difference between the iPhone 11 and the iPhone 11, the iPhone 11 Pro and the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Now, with the 11 Pro, there's 18 hours of video playback. And with the Pro Max, there's actually two additional hours, up to 20 hours of video playback. All right. The iPhone 11 Pro Max delivers our most dramatic leap in the battery life ever. So you don't have to worry about battery life. Fast charge adapter is included. All right. So that's the battery life. Let's go on and see what else it has. All right. The display. Now, this is something new with the iPhone 11. All right. Liquid Retina HD 6.1 LCD display. And it says this Advanced display stays bright all the way to the corners and delivers true-to-life color. So everything from photos to videos to games look beautiful. All right. But with the 11 Pro, 
It has a Super Retina XDR 5.8 for the 11 Pro or 6.5 for the Pro Max OLED display. And uh, this is the best iPhone display and the sharpest display Apple makes. It's brighter in sunlight and perfect for HDR movies with true blacks and more detail in bright areas like fire. So that's something to take note, the OLED display. Water resistance. Now this is something that is valuable asset to the phone. Water resistance, everyone gets scared when their phone drops into a puddle of water or say for instance raindrops drop down on the phone. It says for the iPhone 11, up to 2 meters for 30 minutes. Okay, 2 meters. Okay, the iPhone 11 is water resistant to a depth of 2 meters for 30 minutes. Just in case it falls into a neighbor's pool and it stands up to spills from coffee, tea, soda, and more. Now, with the iPhone 11 Pro Max, and the iPhone 11 Pro, it can go up to 4 meters for up to 30 minutes. So that's an additional 2 meters as opposed to the regular iPhone 11. The iPhone 11 Pro shrugs off all the same spills, but Apple has doubled the water resistance to a depth of 4 meters for 30 minutes. Now, the finish and materials on these phones are a little different. Alright, as for the iPhone 11, it has aluminum and glass design. The toughest glass in a smartphone, front and back, paired with a strong, durable, aerospace grade aluminum. Now, with the iPhone 11 Pro, stainless steel and glass design. The same tough glass as the iPhone 11 with a premium textured matte finish on the back paired with polished surgical grade stainless steel as opposed to aluminum. So the Pro is a little bit tougher than that. All right, now let's talk about the capacity of both of these smartphones or I would like to say supercomputers. Um, the capacity for both are the same. They start off at 64 gigabytes. Mid grade is 128 gigabytes. And right here is 256 gigabytes. Excuse me, I'm making a correction. So this is for the iPhone 11 regular. It goes up to 256 gigabytes. And for the Max, it starts off at 64 gigs. The mid-grade is 256, and it maxes out at 512 gigabytes for that particular model. Up to 256 gigabytes of storage gives you plenty of space for your favorite apps, games, music, and movies, and room to capture and store years of photos and 4K videos. Now, for the Pro... A pro iPhone deserves a massive amount of storage. Get the 512 gigabytes model to keep creating 4K videos and photos without worrying about space. All right, so let's go down. Let's so the different pricing models for the iPhone 11 it may vary with um, your carrier, but the iPhone 11 from starts out. Um, sixteen dollars and sixty-two cents a month, or three ninety-nine with trade-in. And the iPhone 11 Pro from twenty-four dollars ninety-five cents per month, or five ninety-nine with trade-in. All right. So those are the phones. All right. That's basically uh, the difference between the two. If you'd like um, more advice or more input, or you want to discuss these phones, please feel free to leave a comment in the comment box and we can talk about the differences or which one you want or which one that you already have. But either way, let me know. All right. Thanks a lot for watching. Let me know if you have any questions.